Hey guys, Lost here. Time for me to review my top 5 picks for the mods of the month of August. Hope you guys enjoy. So not that it will be a big deal, but this will be my last video before school starts for me if it hasn't started for most of you already. Now starting off at number 5 is a mission mod. It's something a little different than perhaps a gear mod that I usually start out with. This mission is called White Rabbit. White Rabbit is a simple mission on Steam that only requires the Apex DLC for Arma. If you are still looking for something to kind of try out the new Apex features, then this is a mod that you should definitely play. The mod is co-op. You could play it by yourself, but you can play with it up to 10 of your friends. Now the objective of the mission is for you to land in by boat onto this island where you will take out these enemy fighter jets in the hangar as well as rescue two French hostages that were captured a few weeks ago while they were reporting. This mission is not as long as some of the other missions I have covered before. It's actually pretty short. You could do it by yourself fairly easily. Though just a fair warning, before you detonate the bombs in the hangar, Please make sure you, your friends, or your team, if you're going by yourself, are clear and out of the way before you detonate because you might blow them up and you will have to go Rambo like I did. Now some missions are either too hard or too easy, though I did not seem to have that problem when I was playing through this one. I was able to make my way through at a fairly steady pace while encountering some solid resistance, especially when you're going Rambo. It does get a little tough. At number 4, we have a weapons mod. That is Black Ops Weapons. It adds in Black Ops Weapons from the 80s and 90s from the United States military. It also adds in a few helmets just to add a little bit of effect. There are a few different M16s, M4s, MP5s, as well as some attachments that go with them. However, this mod does require the CUP Weapons mod. There will be a link to all of the mods in the description and any information regarding the mods will be on the sites where you download them from. I was surprised at the lack of attention that this mod got on Steam. I don't think it was even ranked with any stars, which surprised me because it was definitely a well put together mod with a lot of different weapons. On top of that, the helmets, um, the one that covers your ears, I kind of think makes your head look like an egg. But either way, go show your support for the mod creator. It's a good mod. Go help him out. Maybe even download the mod. Now at number three, this is a cool one. This is a faction mod called Terrorist Organization Black Order. The Black Order is a fictional terrorist organization inspired by many private military groups as well as a few different terror cells. The mod is essentially a retexture of many of the vanilla gear items in Armor 3. The motto for the terrorist organization is Remember Our Cause with this awesome looking logo that is on a lot of their gear. Some of the other features of the terrorist organization is the Black Order faction for Op 4, the Army, the Military Police Units, the Science Division, and Special Operations Units. I'm just saying guys, these guys look badass. This is kind of the elite of the elite in terrorist organizations. These aren't just the type of people that will run around with shafty looking AKs and zero body protection. I personally find the black retexturing extremely sexy and the black Humvees look absolutely epic. And look at the logo guys, look at it. It looks sick. There is definitely room out there in the Armor 3 community for a mod like this. Now this next mod is a ton of fun to play with friends. That is Air Cav Vietnam. It came out a while ago, but it's had some updates recently, and I've been playing on the public 7th Cav server that created this mod and hosts this mod for the public to play on. You don't have to be affiliated with them at all. You just can jump in their team speak, join the right channel, and hop on the server and go ahead and start playing. If you couldn't tell already, the mod was created to give an atmosphere of the Vietnam War with the guns, the vehicles, the clothing, and it is a ton of fun to play on Tanoa. 
you will need the Apex DLC if you want to play on their AirCav Vietnam server. The jungler regions of Tanoa work absolutely fantastically if you are trying to simulate a Vietnam environment. It's definitely no unsung Vietnam war mod, but it is scaled down a bit and it is definitely a lot of fun, so I highly recommend you check it out. Now at number one, this map mod absolutely blew me out of the water. This map mod just about blew my mind in scale, not just because of the detail, but because it is actually gigantic. The map's name is Beketov. The mod is highly ranked on the Steam Workshop. It is 20 kilometers by 20 kilometers. That is 400 kilometers squared. Also, for some reason, there are pumpkins on almost every backyard in the massive cities that are scattered all across this landscape. Maybe they think it's like Halloween or something. Some information about this map. It takes place in central Russia. It is a rural landscape with over 50 plus settlements. You see this city right here? There are cities like that scattered all across the entirety of this massive map. There are over 1.5 million, yeah, that's what I said, 1.5 million 3D objects placed down. And if you go to the mod on the Steam Workshop, it will also tell you other statistics. I'm not going to read them all off if you are interested to find more about this crazy map. The map is covered with farms, swamps, forests, and hills. It is green and lush. It looks absolutely fantastic. As if that all wasn't enough, they are still working on the map. There are a few buildings they are still planning to fix up, add in, to make the map even more amazing than it already is. I know I'm kind of talking it up, but when I was flying around and driving around, taking a look at this map, even with my uh, draw distance all the way up, I still could not see the edges. I mean, this map is gigantic. So this is about it for our monthly review of mods for Armor 3. We're getting to the end. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Follow us on Twitch. I will see you guys later. Are we uh, doing formation here? Are we kind of just in bakery formation?